Digi fans and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's video we're going to be making a strange tale and I'm going to be showing you how to make an epic film using a piece of fruit and a piece of paper. It's all very easy, it's all very simple using Adobe Spark video. Now if you're using a phone or a tablet, you'll download the Adobe Spark apps individually, Spark Post, Spark Page, and Spark Video, which we're using today. And if you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Okay, now it's time to go over to the tutorial where I show you how to make an epic film, a strange tale using a piece of paper and a piece of fruit. Mwah. First thing to do is fold a piece of paper along the long edge and then fold it into thirds so that when you open it up you have this nice grid of six boxes. So your first box is the title of your film, decide what you're going to call it. Next one is who and where, who's your character and where are they? Box number three is big change, what's the big event that happens to spark off this story? And then send your character on an adventure, adventure one, another adventure, adventure two, and then bring it all together in a beautiful ending. And you just fill in those boxes, just, you know, two, maybe three sentences, fill them all in, and then you're ready to start filming your epic adventure. Now that you've written all of your work, it's time to create your video. So I'm using the browser here spark.adobe.com but if you're using an iPad or a tablet you'd use Spark, the Spark video app. So I'm going to click video here next and I'm going to start from scratch there are lots of templates that you can use here and so check them out see what you think. I'm going to start from scratch there is always the tutorial that you can watch as well but I'm going to show you everything you need to know so down the bottom here is where you can add your scenes. We're probably going to have about six because you've got six boxes. So let's put six in now. Uh, the credits and the outro, just leave those alone. They'll do their own thing and you don't need to worry about those for now. So let me give uh, our film a title. The Strange... Oh, my spelling's terrible today. Strange Tale of the Curious Orange. Now you can play with the text by making it slightly larger. We've got full screen on this side, which means we have a, a big title in the middle. I like that. And in, I'm going to put a sort of a photo behind this. So we can, this can be the first thing that our viewers can see. Oh, I like that one. That's cool. The strange tale of the curious orange. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the title just over to the left there. And then, oh, and then I'm going to zoom in slightly on my orange and kind of move that to the right. Nice. Okay, and then I want to add in a voiceover. So I'm going to press and hold this button here. The strange tale of the curious orange. So I always say that you want to press and hold, wait for a second, say what you need to say, and then wait for another second before you finish, just to make sure that you don't clip off bits at the start and the end. Great, so that's our first box, it's done. This is easy, isn't it? Next one is who and where. So let me record my voiceover first. There once lived a curious orange who found himself trapped in a freezing cold and dark prison, along with other fruits and foods from around the world. Okay, now that we've got, you can preview your voiceover at any time just by clicking here if you want to um, if you ever want to re-record, you just press and hold and it will go over the top. Or you can remove narration by clicking that button there. But I'm happy with it. And I'm going to add in some video. So I've got my video all lined up here. And it's this one. I recorded all of these on my phone and then put them on my computer. Now what you'll see is it's got this little button down here. And this one is Align Voice and Video. So what it will do is it will match the length of your video clip to the length of your voiceover, which is pretty handy. And I like that. So uh, roughly, maybe I'll, you can kind of preview where the video, what the video is doing by, you know, 
moving this slider and working out where you can start and end. I might actually move, I'm going to click and hold in the middle here and move my clip kind of in the center. I think that'll be fine. Click save. Now that might take a bit of time, so I'll just speed mine up. Great, so one of the things you can do is you can, you know, you can zoom into the clip if you want to. Why not? Uh, one thing I will show you as well is you can play with the sound. So you can either have it on loud, soft, and mute. But I think I'm going to put all my clips on mute because I'm using voiceover so heavily. So we've done box one, box two, box three. We're nearly halfway. This is what changed everything. Let me show you then. I'm going to put my video in first and then I'm going to click escape. That's the video file I want. Right. Now, I think uh, I'll put the full clip in for now. Why not? So now that that's there, I'm going to record my voiceover. One night, the prison guard left the prison door wide open. Without waking his fellow fruits and foods, the curious orange made a run for it. Okay, nice. Now let me show you here. If I go back into my scissors, my trimming, then I can align my voice and the clip. And actually, I think the bit I really want is at the end. And you can preview it by pressing this little arrow here and it will show you the part of the clip that you're going to be using. And I think that's the perfect one. Oh, you might have just seen how I made that orange move on its own. Can you spot it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know how I did that. So I'm going to click save, give it a bit of time. And there's my clip. Now, let me show you how to use icons as well. Now, this one is all about the orange escaping. So if I put escape, in here and spell it right as well. If I put escape in, all these cool little icons that I can use. So maybe I'll use, oh, I like this one, going through a door. Nice, I like it. And also I might put one on here, on clip number two, and I'll add in an icon. And this is all about, what I should do, this is all about prison. I really like that. I think it makes it look cool. So I've got a prison icon there. I've got my escape icon here. Box number four, this is adventure one. So let me load my video. And this is the field. Okay, select that one. Great stuff. So let me just click save. And then I'll record my voiceover and then work out where I want, how much of my clip I want to use. In the early hours of the morning, while the sun rose from its sleep, the curious orange crossed the field in search of freedom. Nice. Now if I go to my button here and click trim again, I can align it to voice and video. Nice. So I've got, I might actually put it right towards the end because that's the bit where the orange actually starts appearing. You can see, you move this yellow thing and you can see the orange going for its walk across the field here. Brilliant. Click save. Now I really like the way the orange bounces across the field. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna zoom right in so that you can definitely see that orange bouncing along. There he is. Film that on slow-mo on a phone. I think it looks great. It's really funny. Okay, so we've got our adventure one. Time to go to adventure two. Click on, oh, let me do my voiceover first. Maybe that's a better way of doing it. When the curious orange could roll no further, he hitched a ride with a little baby who was going for a walk to the park. Nice. Click video here. And I've got a baby who gave a ride to a curious orange. So I think, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think this clip is all the same, really. It doesn't really matter. There's the curious orange on the baby's, on the baby's back there. 
What a wonderful passenger and what a wonderful driver. So click save. And I think I'm going to zoom in slightly because I think the interesting thing is the baby and the orange. They're the interesting things in this clip. So I'm going to do it there. Just let me preview it to make sure that it's what I want. Make sure the orange stays in camera. Nice. I like that. You can see the baby and you can see the orange. Great. Let me scroll along to box number six here. So that was adventure two. Now we're on to how did it end? So let me put my video in. You might already know, you can tell from the file what it means. So I'm gonna save that one. So I think I'm gonna split this clip up into two because I've got quite a lot to say on my final thing and this clip is actually quite short. So let me show you how I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna take my final box, my number six, how did it end? And I'm gonna split it into like 6A and 6B. So let me record the first bit. Finally, at the park, the orange hopped off. Okay, nice. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in, I think. Let me just, let me also align this to my voice. Okay, save. Now if I preview that, <gasps> okay, that's great because you can see the passerby just about to come in and do what? <laughs> do the terrible deed, but I'm going to leave that until the end and I'm going to record my voice over here. Only to be squished under the foot of a passerby. Okay, and then I'm going to put a video in again and then I'm going to do that squished one. Open. And this time, I'm going to move it to the end. Okay, maybe what I'll do is I will zoom in again, even further. Preview the clip. Nice. <laughs> Did you see the juice coming out? Brilliant. Let me just move it down slightly, ever so slightly. So we've got our clip here, finally at the park, the orange hopped off, passerby, and then it's only to be squished under the foot of a passerby. Okay, nice. Let me put in another clip here. I know this is kind of cheating, but I wanted to show you using a split screen. I'm gonna put in an icon, and I'm gonna put in grave. Okay, nice. I like that one. And then I'm going to put in some text. Here lies the 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 curious orange. Best in peace. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Now, final thing I'm going to show you here is I'm going to go to theme, and because it's an orange, I'm going to change my theme to orange as well. Great. And then also I can go into music and I think I'm going to choose this one, Old Country Accordion. And when I show you what this whole thing looks like, maybe I'll just bring the music down slightly, just using the slider there. As I, I think I've said before that if you want to preview a clip, you can just press this arrow here. But if you want to preview the whole thing, see what it's like, click this one here. The Strange Tale of the Curious Orange There once lived a curious orange who found himself trapped in a freezing cold and dark prison along with other fruits and foods from around the world. One night the prison guard left the prison door wide open. Without waking his fellow fruits and foods, the curious orange made a run for it. In the early hours of the morning, while the sun rose from its sleep, the curious orange crossed a field in search of freedom. When the curious orange could roll no further, he hitched a ride with a little baby who was going for a walk to the park. When they reached the park, the orange hopped off. 
only to be squished under the foot of a passerby. Hey Digi fans, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know I enjoyed the strange tale of my curious orange. This is the curious orange's little brother. You might be getting the same treatment, my friend. Please do share your work with me using the hashtag Digidom or find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. And also, if you wanna get these strange tales, which I have a feeling might become a regular feature, let me know in the comments, then please do subscribe to these videos so you get them before anybody else. Okay, that's it for this video, and I'll see you, where am I gonna see you? In the next video. Oh, <laughs>